A local mental health care professional switches gears, taking baking on the road to mindfulness. Dr. Charmaine Jake Matthews went from making cakes for the kids to baking for parties and events, and now she's bringing her crafts together in the hands-on mindfulness through baking experience. Charmaine joins us now mm -hmm. with more. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. We're so happy you're here. So, Charmaine, three decades as a psychology professor. You start this as a hobby. How did you kind of decide that you even wanted to do this? Well, I enjoy baking. As you said, it was a hobby. I was making cakes for the kids. And people just start asking me to make cakes for other things. So you know it's good. And it's good. <laughs> and so over the years, you know, it just kind of grew into a side hustle. And then in 2022, I decided let's make it a full-time business. And let's mm. focus on those delicious southern desserts oh, yes. like pound cakes and upside down cakes. Ooh, Ooh, love that. And thus, buy the pound bakery. I love, we love the name. You should buy the pound. The <laughs> pound cake, that is. <laughs> yes. um, but how did you decide, I'm going to marry sort of this mindfulness, the techniques with mindfulness and baking. How did you decide that those went together? Well, for me personally, when I get in the kitchen, that's my happy place, right? Mm -hmm. It's soothing, it's calming, it's relaxing. And so I thought, hey, there's something here. These two things definitely connect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you teach people, I know you have an event coming up on April 20th where you're going to kind of talk about how to connect these. If I'm in the kitchen and I'm a terrible cook. How, how can I use <laughs> mindfulness to kind of relax myself? And what are you teaching people at this event? Well, mindfulness is about three things. It's about non-judgmental awareness of and presence in the current moment. So get out of your head Ooh. and get into the kitchen, right? Sweet. Be present with where you are and what you're doing, right? And as you do that, you see decreases in stress, you see decreases in anxiety, you see decreases in negative mood. So not even starting off with any stinking thinking. So you can't even be yeah. like, I'm a terrible cook, no. right? Because that's judgment. So she can't judge as she's going into the kitchen. Yeah, you're going in as a cook who wants to cook and have a good time. I'm assuming that people can walk away from this using it in other aspects of their life too, not just baking. Absolutely, right? The idea here is that when we're present and we're aware, which we can th do through baking, singing, and a mm -hmm. variety of other activities, um, then we live a better life. I do feel like it's perfect for baking because baking is a very precise skill, right? You have Absolutely. to have the measurements right. There's a yeah. lot of chemistry in it. So you have to really be focused. And one of the things that requires a lot of focus is when you're actually trying to uh, get the, uh, the cake <laughs> out of the pan. <laughs> that is there a secret? Can, can you give us some tips, secret? please? Well, that's especially true for bunt cakes because they're kind of dense and that pan uh -huh. is real deep. And so we always have this, is it going to make it? So here's what I'd like you to do. Okay. Take that rack from under the pan and put it on top of the pan. Okay. Oh, okay. Like a lid. Yes. yes. Very nice. Okay. Now, pick the whole thing up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, G. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Oh, and as you flipped that, you mm -hmm. should have felt a shift. I don't know if I felt anything. Flip Ooh. it back. Flip, flip it back. back. You feel the weight. Uh huh. And now then. flip it and tell me where the weight is now. Uh, I don't know. Put it down. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. She didn't study for uh -huh. this question. Uh -huh. That's okay. <laughs> and then, okay. Well, what I notice yes. is there's weight. Oh, do it over here. In the bottom of the pan. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right? Right. And as I flip it, I can feel the weight shifting oh. from the bottom of the pan to okay. the rack. Okay. I was just nervous. So. <laughs> and right. so by being present mm -hmm. with what I'm touching, what I'm handling, and what I'm feeling, I don't have to be nervous because okay. I know I felt it shift. Okay. And, and I then, know it's going <gasps> to come out. A boom! What? And even if it hadn't, I wouldn't have felt it shift, but I know that I have a set of skills for figuring out how to get it out of there. Or if wow. I don't, I have a baking instructor standing right here with me who yes. can help me get it out. Yes. Right? And so being present is how do I deal with what's right here in front of me? There's a cake in front of me. I can feel where it's mm -hmm. moving. There's an instructor in front of me I can call on for support uh -huh. and assistance. So I can get out of my head and be right here with the strawberry cake. I feel oh. like I've just gone through therapy. <laughs> <laughs> can you come back every Friday? You're really good right now. Oh my gosh. So you guys have for By the Pound, you're cooking at a bakery on the west side yes. in a space. And then on the south side is where people can find you. Absolutely. We're located at Boxville Market uh -huh. at 51st and Calumet yeah. Avenue. I also do a pop-up on the north side at the Andersonville Galleria near uh, Clark and Foster. And I'll be doing some farmer's markets this summer. 
So the best that. thing to do is to keep up with me on social media and find out where I am. Well, let's Amazing. go over, um, Charmaine, a couple of these cakes. What do you have this? What's here? This is lemon and raspberry. Okay. Um, it's not a pound cake. It was requested by a customer and kind of just took off from there. What Ooh. kind of icing is it? So it's a vanilla icing, mm -hmm. uh, a lemon cake, and then raspberry Beautiful. filling inside and on top. And then these little cuties. These are our cake cups. Oh. And so we've got chunks of our rich buttery vanilla pound mm -hmm. cake, in this case strawberry, sometimes mm -hmm. other fruits, and then they're topped with a little bit of whipped frosting and some Mother's Day decorations this time around. Gorgeous. Beautiful. This is a red velvet there? This is red velvet Beautiful. pound cake, absolutely. And again, dressed up a little bit for Mother's Day. Um, we've got our lemon pound cake. This is the one that really started it all. Started you should sell you. your pound cake. You should sell your pound cake. You should sell your pound That's cake. That's when you know you're on to something, right. is when people that. start telling you. Uh -huh. And then we've got the pineapple upside down. But why do one layer when you can do two, right? I love it. Well, I'm so about to taste this. put some this. frosting and a layer under there. Love it. Well, Charmaine, I already feel better. Like, I have to say emotionally. Oh, <laughs> and then now you. my stomach's going to feel better because this is delicious. So uh, <laughs> mindfulness uh, through baking experience is next Saturday, April 20th, uh, for TikTok. Get some more information, just head to buythepoundbakery.com or find them on Instagram and Facebook. And this is delicious. Thank you, Charmaine. <laughs> Thank you.